Oh. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm just gonna put my tea down. It's a little dangerous with him right here. So you guys, it has been a while because today is Wednesday, January the 22nd. It is in the morning. We are 10 minutes till 9 a.m. I kind of fell off uh, the radar a little bit. <laughs> I just got really into being with my family and kind of like in the moment and I kept like going away to my room to go edit vlogs and I didn't really want to do that anymore. I kind of just wanted to like enjoy my holiday and that's kind of what ended up happening. Hopefully by this point, vlogs 11 and 12 of Vlogmas are up. I'm kind of just thinking that maybe even this weekend I'll just, I'll just plow through them. I'll put one up, I'll put the other one up. I wouldn't even advertise that they're going up. I just want them up. Plus Jen is in number 11 and it was so fun. That was such a fun day. So I definitely, definitely, want to make sure that I do that. I'm glad that I'm picking up the camera again. This feels really good. Like at this point, I've done this so much that I kind of feel like something is missing when I don't have the vlog in, you know, my bag or in my hand or if I'm out doing something and I'm like, oh my God, this was making such a cool vlog. I've also just been kind of getting back into the swing of things. A few events, things have happened since I last talked to you guys. Number one, and probably the most important of everything is that Kate had her baby. Kate and my brother-in-law had their first child. He was born on January the 9th at 1243 and he's so cute. His name is Alexander or Alex for short. He is a perfect, beautiful little baby. I can't believe I'm, I'm an aunt. I've actually gotten to see him like in the flesh a couple of times, which I didn't think I was going to do just with the whole COVID situation. They're really like, you know, hunkering down and keeping him safe in their apartment. But I've had to go over to her place and drop off a few things. So I've been able to kind of like take a peek and kind of get to meet him both times he's been sleeping because he was just fed. I still got to see him and that is what's important. At some point I'll be able to, uh oh. At some point I'll be able to hold him and cuddle him and you know, smush him. I can't wait to spoil that little boy. In other news, not so exciting, I didn't actually go back to work for a couple of weeks after the break. So I was working from home for a couple of weeks. So that was fun, but I'm now actually back in the office, which is really great. And then my last piece of news, a real big news is that my chili trip is happening. It is, it's gonna happen. I have everything lined up, all the documentation is done, you know, everything that the Chilean government needs. They have and they've approved it all. Both my aunt and my cousin have been really helpful in terms of making sure that I'm on track in terms of certain aspects of going to Chile, which is really nice to kind of have that support because I have not only not traveled in a while, but and just with the COVID situation, it makes it super duper complicated. I actually went for my first of two PCR tests last night. I've never had a PCR test. And oh, after this trip, I hope I never have to have a PCR test ever again, because I have to do a ton of them, both getting there and also to, to come back. And I think the last piece of today of my little like morning discussion with you guys is I am going to get my hair done today. Not only am I going to get cut, I'm getting color. Oh my God, I haven't gotten color in 16, 17 months. You can see the remainder of my color. I'm basically gonna tell the stylist like, I'm going to chili, I'm going to warmth. And I like, I want that sun kiss, like glowing look to my hair. So this is kind of like the before shot. I am gonna do my best to sort of film a bit of the process, but you know how it is. It's a bit awkward when the hairdresser's kind of like right behind you the whole time and there's mirrors everywhere in a salon, but I will try and get little snippets of the whole process. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait, I'm gonna feel like a new woman. Anyway, so that is my full like update back. We are in 2022 and I'm so happy that you guys are still here with me on this on this journey, this Toronto journey, which has expanded to many other places and will soon be in Chile as well. I am going to finish getting ready and I'll probably see you guys as I am on my way to the salon. Bye.
Are you ready? Then it's ready. Three, two, one. So what do we think? What do we think? This is so much better. Sorry, I'm distracted by the viewfinder because I am totally obsessed with my new hair. Sorry about that. Like she gave me exactly what I wanted, more highlights, bring the color all the way up. I told her right up to the roots. I love it. And honestly, I can't wait to try styling it myself. Like technically, <laughs> technically, I hate these kinds of curls on me. On other people, they look great, but on me, they kind of look bleh. So I can't wait to try doing my own type of curl. Yeah, I just feel like my head just goes really flat when my hair is like this. But we're not talking about the curls right now. We're talking about the dye job. So if you're curious and you live in Toronto, I went to Verb Salon and Maya was my stylist. She knew exactly what she was doing. Very, very happy with my new look. I feel one step closer to going to Chile and I have just over two weeks to figure everything else out. I was in there for, well, it's 4.30 now, but I finished around 2 p.m. So I was in there for about four hours, which is normal. And I came home and I had something to eat and now I feel like a baby, like I wanna pass out. I might actually have a nap. I do need to do my workout. Wow. Anyway, that is the hair update. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go have a shower and maybe have a little nap. Whoop, this is what happens on a Saturday. Okay, so a bit of an update. I didn't shower and I didn't nap. It is now 6.40. I did, however, make some food. I made it stir fry. I'm kind of on a bit of a healthy kick right now. So I'm being very meticulous about what I pick to eat, but I'm also eating things I love. So it's kind of a win-win. I really need to get some like secondary lighting for this kitchen because the lighting is so low, you know, especially when the sun is not streaming in. So I don't know what to do about it. I'm going to try this angle. I don't know. I'm, I'm now going to make some hot chocolate because Jen and I are going to have a like movie night date over Zoom. I also need to use up this milk that was in my fridge. That was a perfect amount. Perfect, look, look at that. This is gonna make an awesome, awesome cup. I'm honestly just still trying to get used to my hair. Whenever I go from brunette to blonde, it's always like a shock. I'm always like, ah. And I like woke up this morning and I took a look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, who is that? But it's okay. Anyway, enough about my hair. I was gonna vlog a little more last night and honestly, just after the movie, I got really, really pooped. We watched Love Wedding Repeat, which was a very like interesting kind of quirky movie. And it was kind of like a prep for the wedding in Chile. Kind of felt a lot like that because it was also a destination wedding. I don't know. I recommend it. It's fun. It's more of a chick flick, but uh, it's got a lot of male humor to it as well, if you know what I mean. I did a workout this morning and I thought that would give me more energy, but it hasn't. I am still kind of like, bleh. I just want to do nothing. Unfortunately, I have an errand that I have to run for work and it has to be done today. And I have been mustering up the energy to go do that. Everything is prepared and ready to go. I pretty much just have to change, put some like actual pants on and then I can head outside. Part of the errand though is going to Michael's and there's a couple of things that I wanna get at Michael's so it's obviously not that big of a deal, but it's just, you know, getting out of the house. Like it's already hard in the summer, but when it's the winter, it's cold outside and you have to put on like a million layers. Ugh, I just wanna stay and chill with my little very hyper puppy. You know what I'm saying? There are also a few things that I picked up recently that I kind of like want to share with you guys, but I think we'll do that after the air because I want to get that done, just out of the way, and then I can come home, get back into my pajamas and just chill. Chill, chill, chill. So I'm gonna go get dressed. I will probably bring you with me though. It's not anything, guys. Let's go do that.
that was all I want to do is lay low and be home COVID is really freaking me out right now I think I told you guys that I had a PCR tests like a couple days ago and the results did come back and they came back negative I got the results yesterday So now I'm just trying to like not catch COVID between now and in two weeks when I have to take another PCR test and the two places that I went into oh you could just like feel they were like crawling with COVID. The first place was a UPS store and I had to like line up with all these other people in this small little crowded space. And then in Michael's, I was going down an aisle and a guy suddenly, he was like at the end of the aisle, he looked at me, pulled his mask down and then was like, eh. <laughs> And I ran to the other side of the store. He was like making noises. I think he was mentally unwell. Like I'm running in the opposite direction to the other side of Michael's and then suddenly all the alarm bells are blaring and I don't know. I saw him later when I was like pulling out and he had a suitcase with him and it was sketchy. It was sketchy. And yes, I did change. I even showered. I just came home and just like took everything off and uh, sanitized everything because I just I just felt really, really gross and it needed to just get out of everything that I was wearing and put on something new. I told you guys that I had gotten a few things. I would say mostly for chili. They're all related to chili in some way. I'm just gonna kind of go through them quickly. Some of the smaller items, I picked up this trio. This is the Quo trio that you can get at like shoppers and I have already prepped it. I've already put in conditioner, shampoo, and then body wash right in there. Just, I thought that was super cute and compact. I also picked up a brand new bottle of the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the color 425. I actually own this foundation in three different shades, 405, 425, and then 465. 405 is pretty much my skin tone color. I am actually wearing it today. <laughs> it's winter time and I am not tan whatsoever but because i am going to chile i did pick up more of 425 which is pretty much my go-to this is like my fourth or fifth bottle of this color and depending how dark i am i will mix it with 465 i'm never a true 465 i always have to mix it in some way with this one and this is my favorite foundation of all time by the way Definitely recommend. I picked up two shirts. Now these were full length shirts. I cropped them myself. I actually picked these up from Michaels, but at Michaels in Ottawa, it's pretty much the cheapest way to get a crop top, not gonna lie. So I went and got these two. I got them in this one in a size medium. They didn't have any medium in the white. So I ended up getting a youth large, which is pretty much the same. It's just like shorter overall when you get it. These shirts are only $5.99 at Michael's. You can buy them. And then I just cropped them myself. I literally just measured and I kind of like estimated how long I wanted it. And then I cut right across and it makes the perfect little crop top. Also what I did, like nobody has to do this, but I do it. I love it when the sleeves look a little rolled. So what I end up doing is I, I actually tack it. You can see a little bit better on this shirt than the white. I just have little areas where I have sewn it and that way it doesn't fall. I've also done it on the white one as well. I think I mentioned earlier that I'm pretty much like on a real health kick right now. I'm trying to get into more shape for not only me, but also for chili. I'm just not in the physical form that I would ultimately like to be. So I've been working out a lot more and eating healthy and I did pick up um, a big jar. Is this a jar? Container? I don't know. Of protein powder and it's a vanilla flavor. And this is from Women's Best. I don't know. My sister really recommended this one. And so far I've had it a couple times. It's really good. I'm not like an expert on this, but basically because I'm currently in a calorie deficit, I don't want to lose all the muscle that I am, you know, working out to gain. So when that happens, you have to really up your protein intake. And this just kind of helps me to reach my protein level goals. And last of the smaller items was I picked up a set of six inch biker shorts. These are the Wonder Train from Lululemon. I did so, so much research before I ordered these because I was debating between the Align and obviously the Wonder Trains. They both come in six inch variations. I ultimately went with the Wonder Train because in every single video that I watched of reviews of these, everyone talked about how they are a little more compressive than let's say the Align biker shorts and I do own a pair of Align leggings so I'm familiar with the feel with the texture and I do know that they're very lightweight so I ended up going with these and honestly I'm really really happy with them I love the look of them I ended up going with a size 6 I am 
typically a size four in any Lululemon bottoms, but uh, I had heard that, that these were quite tight and actually I had happened to try on a four a few months ago in store and I remembered them being super duper tight and I know I've gained a little bit of weight since then so I was like definitely definitely a six and I think even if I lost weight now they would still be the size for me I didn't find any you know gaping or anything or feeling like it's too loose around the waist so I'm happy very happy with my choice of that so yeah that's just a few things that I kind of have like picked up since we last talked to each other and and I also have one thing in my room, which I will show you, which I'm so excited about, but it's not, I don't know if you guys will find it exciting. I find it exciting. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty hungry too. It's five o'clock. I might start making food. Yeah, maybe I'll make some food and then I will show you guys what I picked up. noise in the background it's because Bennett is eating we are many many hours later now dinner was so so good it's a great meal I've had it like six days in a row no joke before I forget I want to show you guys the thing I was talking about earlier that is in my room that I got in Ottawa oh my god I love it so much. Please excuse the mess in my room and also my noise machine. I can hear it and you guys can probably hear it too. This right there is what I'm talking about. Is that not so cute? It's basically a hamper like to hold my dirty laundry, but it's cute. I wanted a cute one. I think in earlier vlogs, I went to HomeSense with you guys a couple times looking for a hamper because legit my old one was falling apart like even now I find pieces of it in my living room it was actually like crumbling so gross but okay real talk so I actually saw Tara Michelle find one of these at HomeSense with her mom and I was like oh my god that's exactly what I've been looking for so I have gone in to maybe six or seven different home senses and the last one that I went into with my mom when I was in Ottawa boom we found it. <laughs> Legit, I picked it up and I ran to her. I was like, this is it, this is what I've been looking for. Isn't it so cute? Like, okay, whoop, whoop, sneak peek, but. <laughs> if you guys are in the Ottawa area and you're looking for something similar, I definitely recommend checking out the Stittsville Home Sense. They had a ton of these in different sizes, uh, variations, slight variations in shape. The reason why I got this one was because uh, there was this like rope detail on, on the handles here and they're more like substantial handles. A lot of them just had like a thinner rope style handle and that's not really what I wanted. This one looks woven like the basket itself. And I just think it's very aesthetic and very pretty in the room. I love it. I'm super happy with it. Look, he does this all the time. Wait, let me show you. He stares at me through the mirror and barks. Did you hear that? You're such a little weirdo. So if I just keep talking to you guys, he's probably gonna think that I'm not paying attention to him. And he does this to me in the morning too. If I'm asleep and he wants me to wake up, he sits in front of the mirror just like this and does his little woof to the mirror until I wake up. It's, it's, literally, a, it's literally an alarm clock. Do you see him looking at me? I don't know why he does this. I don't know why you do that, Monkey. You're so weird. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? You're so weird. Okay, so anyway, basically I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and uh, hit the bell if you want to get notified as to when I will be posting next. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!